Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. So this is going to be a Slimming World update. Now, that was my last weigh-in before Christmas today and I have to be honest, sorry, hair in my mouth, I have to be honest and say that I have already started indulging really and um, what I wanted to talk about today is like my approach to Christmas while I'm on Slimming World, what I'm going to be doing and also share about like how much I've lost and things like that as well. Now I did lose today which really surprised me because this last week I would say things have gotten a little bit more difficult for me to resist and not that I don't have any willpower because for three months now, well, this is week 15, in 15 weeks running I've not had a single gain yet and I'm really really proud of that and I've worked really hard to get where I am but at this time of year it's like I believe the youth say YOLO, you only live once and I want to make the most of it so on Thursday night I ended up staying up really really late until 2 in the morning to catch up with work that I needed to do like YouTube and blog and things like that and I was absolutely exhausted and by Friday uh, evening I was like Mark like I'm really really knackered like can we just chill and will you just hold me tonight because I feel awful and because Mark is the true romantic he said the one word that every woman wants to hear pizza so I had a Domino's and it was the best Domino's think I've ever had in my entire life um I would to go sort of back in time a little bit when we used to have dominoes me and mark would get a large pizza each and we would eat all of it and i'm not even going to lie about it i did and it was bloody brilliant but if i want to lose weight i can't do that so this time around we got a large pizza and we did half and half so he had like i think it was mushrooms and olives on his and i had like the texas like smoky barbecue one because that's my favorite except i switched out ground beef for sweet corn because i always do that i love a bit of sweet corn on my pizza and we also shared like a chicken side thing and some like a mini garlic bread so it was a lot of food and then on Saturday, the next day, it was my mum and dad's Christmas ham day. I'll leave the link to the vlog for that down below if you are new to the channel and you want to see like some different kind of content aside from me just going on about how much I weigh. Um, and I ate a lot of food there and I drank a lot of alcohol and then I knew that by Sunday and Monday I would need to try a little bit harder so I was really really healthy and had like a sprout hash on Sunday night which sounds gross but it's not I love sprouts and I cut them off with some like red onion and some sweet potato and we had like a poached egg on top and a bit of hot sauce and it was really really good and then Monday which was yesterday I went into Manchester to have my final meeting at work because I've handed in my notice and um, me and Mark actually work at the same place so while I was there we went out for lunch and there aren't very many Slimming World friendly places in Manchester at least not around where we work so I went out and I did order like the healthiest thing I could and I didn't eat like half the bread and stuff it was like a big roasted vegetable open sandwich and it was really good and we got some green beans on the side as well and some olives and I know that they're not like perfectly healthy for you with the olives on but I was really good and I watched what I was eating I had a salad last night and today at weigh-in I actually lost half a pound and I was really surprised because I was honestly aiming for a maintain that's what I would have been happy with so I was really really surprised so I'm going to show you on my little booklets just you know in the interest of transparency there we go that was this week's weigh-in so now I weigh 13 stone and half a pound and I'm really really pleased with that considering that I started at 15 stone 2 I've lost 29 and a half pounds I think that is now in 15 weeks and that is pretty amazing I'm quite pleased with that so I think that's what two stone one and a half pounds that's how much I've lost now and obviously with Christmas I am preparing to gain I am I think it's only fair that I do gain in all honesty um because I'm planning on eating everything in sight and I'm not gonna say that for the whole of Christmas starting from like my last way in which was today until like the new year that I'm gonna eat rubbish every single day but 
We're celebrating tonight because Mark's finished work, so I've got one of those like meal for two for ten things from Waitrose. It's like a curry meal, and we're gonna have that, and I'm gonna really enjoy it because he's worked so hard this year, like going back to work when Daisy was in hospital and all of that. And I want to celebrate his break because he really deserves one. Then for the next couple of days, I think we're gonna be good. But then Bill, my little boy, he's four. He is not with us on Christmas Eve or Christmas Day morning because that is when his dad is having him over Christmas. So we're going to sort of do a big sort of pre-Christmas family nibbly type buffet thing just us four on the 23rd. And then the 24th I will probably go crazy and have some drinks and get takeaway. Christmas Day obviously I'm not going to hold back and Boxing Day is probably the same. And then what I'm going to do is try and behave as much as I can in the run-up till the new year. And that's only a few days. But if I eat what I want every single day, I am bound to gain weight. And I am, I say quite happy. I am happy to gain about four pounds, I would think, over the Christmas period. And if that's the case, then that is fair enough. Um, but any more than that, I'd be a bit ashamed. So I'm just going to sort of go full throttle on the days that count and then the days where I don't need to overindulge I'm not going to and I'm just going to you know eat loads of speed make sure I drink loads of water and just watch what I'm eating and that is my plan yeah I could go through the whole rigmarole of going through this book my festive feast one but a I'm not hosting Christmas dinner and b I don't want this kind of food like I'm quite happy to make this in between like the festive period like Christmas and New Year and I probably will have a look through actually now I've got it in front of me but I'm not gonna expect like my Auntie Debbie who just slimming world with me actually to do like fry like potatoes on Christmas day to be honest with you I want dog fat ones I really do and I'm just gonna enjoy it for what it is and I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna be like yeah I gained I do have weigh-in on the day after Boxing Day because we get weighed on a Tuesday and I won't be able to make it because I won't actually be here. I'll be in Preston where Mark's family live. So I do have scales at home and I am going to weigh myself and to probably make a note in my book anyway so I know how much I've gained. I'm not going to just turn a blind eye to it because I think if I weigh myself on Tuesday and I know what the effects of the past week are then that helps me plan going forward. So I'm not going to hide from the scales. But yeah, that is kind of it in a nutshell. I hope that you're all doing really well. Like, I know that this time of year is so difficult. Like, I am giving in to temptation like you would not believe sometimes. But I think sometimes you've got to allow yourself that time to sort of have treats and get out your system. And I think the biggest part of all of this is being able to come back in January and go no right I'm gonna get my head back in the game and I'm on it now and if I think that like it took me 14 weeks to reach two stone I'm hoping that by the end of let's say the end of March or maybe hopefully the end of February I will be able to lose even more I don't know like maybe it will be that it takes me that long to lose another stone and then I do hit target ideally I would like to hit target by March but I do have my birthday in January and Daisy is going to be in hospital for her surgery sometime in February so I don't want to put too much pressure on myself because that's going to be a very emotional time so yeah I'm going to quickly show you the body and then I'm going to go and pick my little boy up from school. So don't mind the outfit, I'm actually wearing some stuff that I brought recently from Primark and I'm wearing a skirt, can you see? I'm wearing a skirt and tights and a jumper and I feel quite preppy in this but um, I was just trying it on to show for like, show everything that I bought on. Um, so if you want to see the details of all of this that'll be in another video. Um, but yeah, this is me with clothes on and this is me from the side and I don't think I've ever done from the back but this is me from the back and as you can see I have an absolutely humongous bottom and I always have done doesn't matter what size I am it's just it's big and it, it always will be I think but yeah thank you so much for watching and good luck for your target for like the rest of the year like I know that this is a really hard time but make sure that 
you enjoy yourself the way that you want to enjoy yourself. So I will see you soon hopefully and wish me luck, fingers crossed I don't go in too much but I deserve to if I do either way and I will see you soon, thank you so much for watching, bye!